All right, this is a RC drone. It's a foldable drone from GearBest.com. Um, it's a great little drone. I had to, already did an unboxing. This is just going to be a quick flight on it. Uh, this is going to be a voiceover over the flight because uh, my audio wasn't recording. My little action cam I have, I actually pull it up. And when I turn it off and take the battery out, turn it back on, somehow the audio just stays off and I don't recognize it. So here it is folded up. It's a pretty, pretty neat little drone. It's uh, kind of like a, a Mavic Pro knockoff. Uh, so it's a really good knockoff actually. Uh, it's just really light. So it looks really cool in your hands. It's really light. Yeah, I changed the battery in it. So he's gonna be a quick picture of the unboxing of what's in it. Um, if you missed the unboxing video, this is pretty much it. This is what it has, what it comes with. It's got the tools, uh, the extra propellers, the phone clip, and the prop guards. So you have the controller. So I don't have uh, an SD card in here. So in this next shot, again, uh, there's no audio on this because of the action cam wasn't recording it. And I didn't realize this. So I'm here talking about this. But here it is unfolded. I pushed the button uh, to power it up. And it's going to be the first flight that I have off of this thing after I charged it. So now I'm going to be fumbling here with the action cam and I'm actually hooking it up to the clip on the actual controller, the clip that holds the phone. I'm putting the action cam on it so I can get this video from that you'll see here. So it's going to be a little shaky. Uh, it's going to be a little weird and it might come off frame a little bit, but that's why. So the gyroscope on this thing is it's intense. It's crazy. Um, look how smooth this is and it was a windy day I'll show you the further further on the video how windy it was by the palm trees but for being so light I am so surprised on how well this thing flow I mean look at this thing it's just hovering here almost steady in the wind and it, it's a really neat quad I mean it it's so cheap as like it, it won't even hurt your pockets it's I mean I, I won't get paid or anything for this so if you check it out on GearVest, try to get it on their sales or whatever. But I mean, this thing is um, always under 50 bucks right now. Uh, it depends on what sale you pick it up, if you can get it for 40 or that kind of thing. But um, f the technology has come so far. I I'm just impressed on this thing. So right now, the higher you go, the higher I went. I was actually fighting more wind, obviously. But uh, it's a gray sky day. It rained later in the evening. But... Um, I wanted to get this up and flying it out because we've been having some crazy weather here. So abnormal weather. It's been raining, raining and windy all the time. So you can see the palm trees there, how much wind there is. And it, it gets worse than gusts. It's going to be another shot where it was even worse than that. But I was trying to keep it low. I take off. It's actually got some quick agile moves, you know, left and right, forward, reverse. I mean, it's definitely it's a beginner drone if you want to say because you do you do have the altitude hold, but uh, it's very it can get fast get away from you fast so you want to be careful with this if you're a beginner because you can actually run into something really fast a car a pole um, trees whatnot so here I just wanted to see how well it hovered low with its wash and then to do a manual landing it does have auto landing and auto takeoff. So I was just checking the wash here and kind of like the to toilet bowl effect. But it did very well. I was surprised, you know. That was a pretty good landing. Underwind. You know, I was surprised. And when you guys, if you guys get one of these or if I already have one, it's so light. It's just insane how light this thing is. So, And it's probably why it, it's it's able to fly the way it does, but... For it to hold the wind the way it did, that's all the gyros there. I was so amazed of this thing. So if you do, try to pick one of these up because you will have fun with this. Um, during this time, I actually picked up, if you haven't seen the videos already, I, I did pick up a Mavic Air, a DJI Mavic Air, and I love that thing. I'm still working out um, the flying modes and the actual recording modes and that kind of stuff, so I still haven't had full function of it completely um, in my hands because the weather's just been crazy here it's been raining a lot but here's a high I flew it out high I don't know how much range I had on in this so I flew it out and then thinking of how much the, the weather was 
And it, this actually held up better than my Saima. The, the two Saimas I have are, would have been all over the place in the wind there. I would have been fighting a lot more. And that thing was really stable. And this day was really windy. And I was surprised at how stable that was up there flying. It was almost like, almost. I'm not going to, this is just comparing it crazy. Probably people say something about it. The DJ has no comparison on this or this on that. But it was almost like as stable as flying the DJI. Uh, it was just that stable. I just can't believe it for, for the price. I'll keep saying that too because it just blew my mind. I love this little thing. So what I like about this one that I didn't like about the DJI Air is because it doesn't have GPS. So I can put this thing up wherever I want to put it up. I don't need a GPS hold or lock to prevent me from flying. This little thing, you're not going to be flying over rooftops too many times, especially on a windy day. Um, there's nothing FA needs to worry about you with this one because you're not going to go high, that high ever. Um, you know, you'd be lucky if you hit 150 feet, if that. I don't think it would reach 200 feet. I wasn't going to try because I don't want to lose the drone. I actually like this little drone. But I'll try it out in a park. I'll take it out, see how far I can take it out laterally to see how much distance I have without modifying anything. So here, the original battery is not in the quad. I do have, uh, I think it's a 900 milliamp battery that it comes with, and I got a 1,000 milliamp battery. It's a little fatter, and I'll show you that later. But um, it fit in there snugly, it, but I, I might have to change it a little bit so it fits in there better. Uh, but the battery door closed, did close, so. So the agility on this thing, as you can see, it's it's crazy. Now, in a park, it's probably easier to see because you don't have the contrasting of the trees in the background. So when I go out there pretty far, uh, you kind of lose it in the video, but I, I seen it when I was out there. The one thing I thought would have been better if they would have had the LEDs kind of showing out further more to, on the on the legs itself kind of like there's another knockoff drone as well out there but this one I think is the better one of the two um, you don't see the LED lights at all unless I haven't tried flying in the night but uh, during the day unless it's almost directly above you you won't see them so that's the only bad thing I would say about this drone uh, and that and, and the actual the way they it's not a normal controller so the way they put all the functions on the controller it's also a turn down or a turn off because you you have to fumble through it. You have to pretty much uh, write write it on the controller or keep a little paper on you until you rem memorize what each function does or what each button does. But other than that, I mean, it's a great drone. I mean, just pop it out, fly it, take off, and within seconds you're you're out flying. Unlike the DJI Maverick, um, any of those GPS drones that have to lock out the signal. To make sure it has signal and for you to fly it. And, and if you're in a restricted area, it doesn't matter if you want to fly it 50 feet, 25 feet, or 20 feet at that matter, it won't let you fly it. I mean, I haven't found a way of flying it. So if you guys have a way of turning that feature off where you could fly it indoors or fly it in, because uh, the Maverick Air and, and the Sparks are small drones, they're like this size right here. And what's funny is that this drone here, so you can see the palm trees in the background how windy it was and right here I was losing battery so I brought it over the grass and that's what it does when it lost complete battery it just falls out of sky just like that so my suggestion to you is when you start getting full throttle on your RC especially this one if you're creeping up you have full throttle just to keep it up get it over grass because it just drops out like that and it can damage your drone because it's really light drone so right here um, I popped the cover there's the battery. That's not the original battery it comes with. You can see it's kind of sitting sideways and I had to push it and squeeze it in there and I don't want to do that in the future. So see how wide that battery is. The original battery is a little bit longer and narrower. So this, this little cage that's in here, I'm going to modify it, uh, cut the sides off a little bit so that the battery kind of slips in. Still has the cage on the bottom, but it slips to the sides. Uh, you pretty much got to put one side in first and the other side. But I, I got these batteries uh, on Amazon.com. It came with a little LiPo bag. Um, I believe it has five or six batteries that came in the package with its own charger that can, tr can charge up to five or six batteries all at once. These batteries are great batteries. Um, I was looking for the original batteries. I didn't. Uh, they were selling them, I think, 
ten dollars a piece or something like that. And this kit itself was actually only twenty one dollars or twenty two dollars on Amazon. So I had more batteries. I have five or six batteries. So I'm just illustrating here the cage, how I have to cut it out um, or cut it to the side. So you can see those LEDs, they're flat. There's there's no dome to them or nothing like that. So when you see it on a plane, you're not going to see these LEDs lights at all. You know, at night you might see the glow glowing down, but that's about it. I love this little drone. It's an awesome drone. Definitely pick one up if you have the chance. Uh, they're going to get cheaper as, as the year goes by, but man, it, if once once they get down to 25 bucks, I'll probably buy two more because this thing is just insane. Just to have a backup or have the kids fly them because this is an awesome little drone. If you have kids, this is a perfect drone to start them with um, for the most part, but it is agile, so just be careful. They, it might get away from them. So thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Sorry for no uh, propeller sounds, but that's what happened to the dash, my little action cam. So take care. Thanks for watching.